It's just a narrow hallway to the backyard. This week, we're transforming a breezeway that looks almost accidental into a more inviting entrance. Oh, how beautiful! Oh, oh, that is cool. Wow, I didn't think it was going to be that good. <laughs> Homeowners love a good, straightforward, practical approach to home improvement. Not every home needs a total overhaul. That's why we focus on small projects that will make a big difference. Oh, oh my it. gosh, yes! Chelsea always has great ideas for homeowners. And Dad's practical knowledge with his fun-loving attitude is why we've been around for so long. The most realistic, most current home improvement information you're going to find anywhere. Pretty slick, huh? Families that improve their homes together, stay together. This house near the shores of Mobile Bay has an interesting layout and it belongs to first time homeowner, Delane Caldwell. I got this house right after college, so I've had it for about two years. My dad and my brothers helped me a lot on the inside. I don't know if I would have bought one if it hadn't been so close to my brothers and my parents. So. It's a lot of fun being near them. If I need a cup of sugar, I can go across the street. When I first started looking at this house, I was surprised. I didn't really know what to expect, and I thought it was really unusual. I was maybe a little iffy about it, but it didn't take long for me to realize that it could be a really neat space. I love the breezeway. I just don't know what to do with it. It's just a narrow hallway kind of to the backyard. I want to incorporate it more as part of the house and more of like a living space. So I'm really excited that Chelsea and Danny are taking this on. You know, this entryway or breezeway just reminds me a lot of the homes down in Florida that yeah. have kind of a patio home yeah. feel to it. Yeah. But this one isn't very welcoming. It's a little bland, maybe a little bit neglected. So I feel like right now it feels like it's more part of the carport area mm -hmm. and yeah. I want it to feel more like part of the house. Oh, so okay. I don't know what that'll take. Well, I can see the evolution of it a little bit. Apparently it used to be a bed there. Flower bed? Yeah. The only thing I've done is fill in one of those dirt pits with concrete because I just didn't know what to do with it. It got filled in and I intended to fill that one in, but it didn't happen. I mean, maybe we can do something with the floor to kind of tie the patch. Yeah, and all there the... are a lot of different uh, concrete oh, yeah, you can see another phases little... in here. You can see where people have poured different concrete and glued different things down. And no matter how much I power wash it, I just can't make it all look right. And I'm not attached to the rug. I was just trying to cover up the floor. <laughs> cover, up, cover up the ugly. Yes. <laughs> OK, so maybe something with the floor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'm feeling like courtyard vibes, like, you know, maybe a fountain. That sounds amazing. Like a Maybe, little... I feel like that fits in really well with the iron. Yeah, and the iron's in great shape. That's nice. Yeah, you know, people have a love-hate thing with, with wrought iron. I'm really kind of attached to the wrought iron because I just, I think it's unique and it's not something that every house has. Yeah, I'm a big fan of my iron. I think it really separates the yeah, carport. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a wall, but still lets the light in. I mean, we can't match the wrought iron on this side, but if we could do something mm -hmm kind of pretty to just kind of highlight that space mm -hmm. and make it look more less chain link fence. Yes. Chain link fence got to go. I mean, Don't it I... just looks bad at the end though. And I have an idea to address that little opening to make it look kind of breezy. And I'm Sweet looking at that. that white door. We can paint the oh, yeah. front door and make it stand out that from the siding. That was a quick fix. And she's going to paint a door. What, no matter what color it is, she's going <laughs> to paint the door. I just have to find the right color. When it's time to start work, Delane's dad, Tim, joins us to help out. I'm really excited to have him around. I feel like we're kind of like Danny Chelsea. The whole family, we watched today's homeowner for years, and it's really cool watching Danny and Chelsea interact. And so to get the opportunity to work with them, with my daughter, I mean, it, was an, it was an opportunity we, I didn't want to pass up. It'll be hot today, they're expecting 100 degrees. Okay. We're gonna keep the fans going, we're gonna drink plenty of fluids, and um, me and Tim will head inside every now and then. Cool yeah, off, so. So, so will we. Yeah. 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 Okay. Come on, Tim, give me a hand right, on this. Are these chairs heavy, Delaney? No, they're pretty light. It won't be light when I'm sitting in it, though. <laughs> When dad takes over with the shovel, I'm a little bit tempted to be irritated because, you know, I'm a woman, I can do it. I think I can get it for here. <laughs> <laughs> Come ah! 
you know, Danny's like, wait, 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 I've got an idea. And he comes over with this concrete block and sets it down, and I'm sitting there trying to figure out what, what he's doing there. Look at you. It's Danny Lipford, so I should have known he would come up with a really neat trick. You know what, that's wisdom. Are you gonna pull it, Delaney? Oh, Use oh, all your strength. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Someone else can do that next one. Chelsea, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> can you use the fulcrum without digging any dirt you can, out? You can try. Here, give it to me, I'll do it from over here. So my plan is sit early, sit often, let the other people do the work. I'll be the brains behind this operation. Is my viewing stand too close to, your, to the action? You're the manager I'm here. supervising. That's right. All gates share a common problem, and that is the tendency to sag over time. And this gate's no exception, especially when you have a gate this wide. This is five and a half feet wide, and I've tried everything over the years. I replaced the hinges with larger hinges. I installed these steel braces in each corner. Still, it didn't work. So rather than fight gravity, I came up with another idea. I supported the gate, when it's closed or open, with a caster. This is simply a two by four, pressure treated two by four block that I cut a notch in the back to create this little shoulder so it rests under the horizontal rail of the gate. Then I cut another notch in the bottom to hold the caster. And a carriage bolt goes clean through to secure the caster to the block. Then with four two inch long galvanized screws, I secured the block itself again to the gate. And now when the gate is open or closed, it's completely supported by that caster, not the hinges. Simple Solutions is brought to you by Tight Bond, the pro's advantage. And look at your mask. Look at the mask. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Something a dad would do. We're helping first time homeowner Delane and her dad Tim make over this breezeway entrance to her home. But first, we have to deal with this hodgepodge concrete slab. I have a design to kind of cover that up, mm -hmm. but I would love to get it smoother before we do that. You know what will work really well here is a concrete grinder that actually has diamond ridges on the bottom okay. of it instead of sandpaper. It'll make it smooth, make all the areas look pretty much the same, going to create a lot of dust. He was running that grinder, dust is everywhere. I've got the broom trying to get up as much of it as I could. And you look around and there's no female to be found anywhere. Y'all yeah, were inside the air conditioner. Well, we wanted you to feel needed and wanted. Good try, it didn't work. They're a heck of a lot smarter than we are. All right, you gotta try this. I know you've been watching through the air conditioned window out here and all. Help you with this. Thank you. There you go, glasses. Well, I am ready now. Okay, you feel comfortable? I feel like I look the part. Yeah, you do, you do. <laughs> he told me to go look in the mirror. I thought maybe there was gonna be dust or dirt all over my mask. Oh my. <laughs> it was something a dad would do. This is how happy I am to be doing this. Doing good, perfect. I was excited but a little bit nervous because it's intimidating. You know that thing? It's heavy. Wow. You ready to have it back? I'll take it back. <laughs> when the dust settled, it looked perfect. There were no ridges. It was all the same color. I was amazed. And then they rinsed it off with a water hose and the colors came back, but the surface was all even and that was really nice. So I thought a fountain right here would be a cool focal feature, but also like ambiance with uh -huh. the water trickling. Oh my gosh. I would love to make like the whole thing a pond, but yes. we're just gonna go with a wall mounted unit okay. that recirculates the water. Uh -huh. So we don't so need a water supply. So you've got this, we can't do anything to this because it's still wet, right. so not sure. I got an idea for you, some curtains maybe? Inside? No, 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 I've never seen you so excited <laughs> Man, to hang I curtains thought, before. I thought that was... Yeah, I was ready to go help you. No, I'm, I want to hang outdoor curtains over here that we can kind of drape to make it look all cozy. So I have a galvanized threaded rod that we need to figure out the exact measurement and get that ready and then you can spray paint it. I think we can do that. 
Once we measure the curtain location, we have to make sure the threaded rod will fit. What you got? 10, four and a quarter. We need 10, four and a half. Done. We're ready to paint it. So, uh, Danny, what's the vinegar for? Oh, right? the vinegar? <laughs> well, because of its acidic nature, it's perfect for galvanized pipe. It etches it, we let it dry, then we can spray paint it. Just plain vinegar? Yeah, just plain vinegar. So I'm glad you asked. There you go. You're, you're the vinegar guy. You, I'll be over here shaking this can. So this isn't going to pickle the pipe, is it? <laughs> While we're painting the pipe, the girls are masking the floor to prep for the paint treatment Chelsea has planned. We're going to do a stencil tile design, but the first step is to do the base coat. So I have a kind of a concrete colored paint color okay. picked out. So we'll paint it all nice one color and it'll, it'll cover all this up. Yeah, to make the imperfections disappear a little bit. Yes. So if we can get this done tonight, then we can start the stencil tomorrow. This is the perfect time for me to exit. Oh the paint is about to start. Oh, Y'all have no. fun tonight. You're not we'll going to show us right, how okay. to do it. I've never seen someone run away from a job site so fast. Ooh, oh, I like that's it. so nice. Yes. Cover up all that orange and Wow, that's just really different colored stuff. Just that covers it all up. That's awesome. I can't wait. Tomorrow you're gonna get here, it'll be a whole new place. It'll be like fresh concrete. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Good. Thank Good you, luck. Chelsea. Thanks. You ready for this? I'm always ready. <laughs> we'll see. Kind of matches your beard. It's not as white as my beard. My dad has never been known for his painting skills. Are you on a trim and I'll run? Okay. When dad helps, you have to kind of go behind him and touch it up. So I felt like I only had one chance to get this base coat right. That's not his forte. Don't let me spill it. I was happy when he let me take over the rolling because inside I was a little bit nervous. How's it going, Delane, with your homework? Uh, almost done. It'd probably be done better if I had some help. So how long is this, do you think it's going to take you? Maybe another 30 minutes. Oh, mom's got dinner ready too, girl. I didn't, I didn't sign up for no homework. I thought this was going to be a team effort. It is. I'm filming and you're painting. There is nothing more enjoyable on a cool evening than an outdoor fire. But some fire pits, to be honest, are a little bit of a hassle. They're big, they're bulky, they're hard to clean. Well, this fire pit by Tiki has kind of addressed some of those issues. First of all, it's very lightweight, it's portable, it's easy to clean because it has this little ashtray here at the bottom. So all you gotta do is pull it out and dump it. But another thing that I like about this is it eliminates that bummer seat problem at the fire pit. What do I mean by that? It always seems that smoke goes to that one seat. So you're always having to move away from the smoke. But the design of this actually reduces the amount of smoke. So it diffuses it. Now it does come with a little starter kit of your wood pack here. This is an ignitable bag. So you just drop it down in there and you're good to go. Or you can use firewood, the choice is yours. So this is a great fire pit to enjoy. It's portable, it's great. I love it. This best new product segment is brought to you by The Home Depot. How doers get more done. I like leg. that look. White legs? No, not white legs. Short pants. Ah. Overnight, Delane and her dad finished painting the base coat on the floor. This morning, we're busy at the back of the breezeway installing the curtain rod. All right, I'm sorry. I got to let you me show you. You want to do it the other way? Yeah, because otherwise it, it tends to, um, the back tends to be seen. That was a nice try, Danny, though. Yeah, you got, you got I had it. like a 50-50 chance of getting it right. I know, I'm sorry, I was a little slow. But it's a little cooler out here, and whose legs here? <laughs> uh, okay, you oh. have more time yeah. out in the sun than I do. <laughs> I like that look. White legs? No, not white legs. Short pants. Ah. Oh, they're blowing in the breeze. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> You know, this could be like a stage. You know how when you're a little kid and you have to oh. put on skits and stuff? Aww. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Dad had to watch so many performances when I was growing <laughs> up. Those are some legendary performances. I'm sure you remember them all. Mm -hmm. My 
plan is that you don't actually close them that often, that they're just kind of pinned to the wall and kind of drape. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, plan. just uh, feel good about your height. I mean, I'm 5'8", I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to understand, dad jokes are reserved for Tim and I. For y'all the dad. Well, see, I was giving you a joke. Oh. <laughs> I'm about to screw this in, uh, jokester. Really what it was is I knew you were just a tad irritated you had to hang curtains, and so I was just, you know, yeah. instigating, to, making uh, it worse, just like, just like you like to do sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we pop a layout line for the stencil Chelsea has planned for the floor, and Delane's mom drops by to help with the more precise painting. The biggest thing to do is to roll off a lot of the excess paint. You don't want a lot on there, otherwise it'll seep under there. Mm -hmm. But if you just lay this there and roll it on. Okay. So don't feel like I so need don't, to go heavy. Yeah, I wouldn't like grind it in there. And then these little guys are the registration marks. So they line up with the pattern. I was a little bit iffy because even, you know, when you try to paint over tape and you pull it up, sometimes it, it's a little fuzzy on the edges. Mom and I, we did the first one, and we were really nervous to pull it up, but we did, and it came out perfect. Oh, how beautiful! Oh, oh, that is cool. Wow, I didn't think it was gonna be that good. <laughs> so my mom, she makes everything perfect. She can work wonders with a paintbrush. If you go look at the lines, they're pretty straight to have done all that by hand. I love the sound of the fountain. I know, it's so peaceful. <sighs> when it's cooler, you can leave your front door open and hear it while you're inside. Yeah. Or you can paint your front door and leave your front door open for a while, which I'm doing right now. <laughs> all right, you wanna come see this color? Yes. Oh my goodness. It's even prettier than it was in the picture. Okay, good. I love it. Yay! Hey, I guess I'll finish painting it then. <laughs> when you look at price per square foot on the floor, you can't go wrong with these stencils. I mean, that's the coolest thing I've seen in a long time. My dad jumped in and he's wiping them off, which I think really made a big difference, making those clean lines, you know, blotting the paint off every time. It went so much faster with their help than I think it would have trying to do that by myself or even just with two of us. Got a little surprise for Delane with a smart lock deadbolt to dress up her front door, but also make her home a little more secure. I cannot believe that they have a fingerprint deadbolt. I'm no, just you're obsessed. gonna have to clean your fingers. <laughs> I know. We should have done this gonna, before I got gonna... paint all over. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm bringing in plants to plant in the indoor garden. And then when I want to water the plants, I just do like that. Always love when it's time for the finishing touches like river rocks in the flower bed and a nice focal tree that draws your eye out into the backyard. Delane's breezeway is the main entrance to her home, but before it had a very tired and haphazard feel to it. The random collection of different slabs on the floor only left visitors with questions about what the space was supposed to be. The sad, empty planting bed just made the house feel a lot older than it actually was. And the chain link fence made it feel more like a cage than a relaxing space. But now, the whole space has taken on the feel of a courtyard in a fancy hotel. The consistency of the stenciled floor ties everything together from the wrought iron gates to the lush green planting beds. The door adds a pop of color, while the fountain adds a cool visual element as well as a peaceful soundtrack for the space. The simple curtain rod and the curtains frame the backyard and somehow makes it all feel like a resort. And we did it all for less than $1,200. I absolutely love it. It all came together so well. And either way that someone comes into my house, this is the first thing that they see. And I think it's such an amazing space. It just makes my whole house looks so much better and somehow it still feels like an inside space that's part of the house. It's totally separate from the carport now. It's like its own little room. The floor would have to be my favorite but the plants are a really close second because they really just brightened it up and brought a lot of color. That being said the door brought a lot of color too so <laughs> I just love it all.
Now this was one hot project. Matter of fact, it's almost 100 degrees right now, but we had a little bit of shade. We had a little breeze created by our fans, but more importantly, we had one enthusiastic homeowner that helped every step of the way and a very supportive family that also helped out a tremendous amount. So, but a happy homeowner, a great looking project, that's what it's all about. Hey, thanks so much for being with me and Chelsea here on today's Homeowner. Come see us next week. How about this one?